In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use the SeatGeek API. This is what the final result will look like once you have everything set up. We can make a request to the SeatGeek API. In this specific example, I'm listing out all the venues in the city of Los Angeles. Once we send a request, we should now see the response here, and it will list out all of the venues that are supported by the SeatGeek API. The first thing to do to get started is to go to this link here. Once you go to this link, you just need to either sign up for an account or log into an existing account. Then you should see a screen like this. Here, we just need to register a new app so we can name it whatever we'd like. I'll just name this tutorial five, for example. And then for a redirect URI, you can just leave that blank and then click register. Now we need to copy both the client ID as well as the secret that you see here. Once you have both of those values copied, we can go to SeatGeek API documentation. Then if we scroll down a little bit, we can see how the authentication will work. And all we pretty much need are the client ID and client secret from the other page to start making API calls. So for our first API call, we can just click on this events. Here, we're going to make an API request to get all the information about a specific event. So if we know the idea ahead of time, we can use this API call to get more information about a specific event. However, another way to use this API call is to pass in the latitude and longitude value to get the events that are happening in a specific area. If we scroll up in the documentation, we can read more about it, as well as the other values that this uh, API call takes in. But if we scroll back down to the events API call, we can go ahead and just copy what's here. Then we can open up an API client. In this example, I'll be using Postman, which is free to download if you don't have it already. Now switching over to Postman, I'm just gonna make a new request. Make sure it says get, and just paste in the API call that we just copied. Then click on authorization. And for the type, just click on basic all. Here, we just need to paste the username as the client ID and the password as the client secret. So if I go back to the page previously, I'm just gonna copy my client ID and paste it here. And then for the client secret, I'm just going to copy it and then paste it here. Now, if I send the request, now you can see the response and all of the data that relates to this specific event, such as like the state, the venue, the name of it, and everything else. However, now I'll show you the exact same API call, except now instead of passing in an event ID, we'll now pass in the latitude and longitude coordinates of a specific location. Once you know the latitude and longitude values of a location that you want to search for, you can just pass in exactly how I did it here. In this example, I'm using the latitude and longitude values for Los Angeles and just pass it in exactly like this and then hit send. Now we can see all of the events are happening in this specific location. In this example, it's gonna be Los Angeles. But if you scroll through the data, you can see all of the different type of events that are happening. The next API call I wanna show you relates to getting data about performers. If we go back to documentation, and click on the performance section, you can read all the information about how this specific API works. To get started using this API, we just need to copy the URL here and go back to Postman and just paste it in. And just make sure it's a get request and make sure your authorization is set up correctly. Then we can send the request and you can now see we get a response back with all the data related to this specific performer. For the next API call, I will show you how to get data about specific venues. If we go back to documentation and scroll down to the venue section, you can read all the information about this specific API endpoint. Then just like in the previous examples, we can copy the URL here and then switch to Postman, then paste the URL here. However, there's one change I wanna make instead of passing in a venue ID, I'll just pass in a city query parameter and here I'll just pass in LA. And this will display a list of venues that are currently in Los Angeles. So if I just hit send, and now we can see the result here, which lists all of the venues in Los Angeles and gives us all of the information related to these venues. The very last API call I want to show has to do with recommendations. If we go back to documentation and scroll down to the recommendations section, you can read more about it and how it works. Over here, you can see all of the different examples of how to use the recommendation API. The example that I'll be using is the one that you see here where it will show all the events similar to an event in New York. So I'll switch back to Postman and show you the API call that I already have ready. And to explain how this works, I just copy the URL that you just saw. But for the events ID, I put a specific event. And then for the postal code, I just put a postal code in Los Angeles. And because this event relates to basketball, once I hit send, all of the results should be recommendations based on this basketball event. So you can see it's like horse racing, another basketball event, and like so on. And that's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how the SeatGeek API works. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.